I'm Christopher Kong San Chun. I'm a senior consultant in StarMed Specialist Center. I am a gastroenterologist and a liver specialist. There are various medications that can affect the immune system or suppress and compromise the ability of the body to fight infection. Common medications that do this are steroids and chemotherapy for cancer. Steroid is a very cost-effective medication that has been used for many years. Common illnesses that need steroids are autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus or known as lupus commonly and inflammatory bowel disease. Chronic lung condition like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease need steroids to calm the inflammation down in the lungs so that people can breathe better. The other big group of lung disease patients that need steroids are people who suffer from asthma. They do take steroids short term or for the more severe cases they need it for long term treatment. Interestingly, when COVID struck two years ago, there was very few medication that was thought to be able to treat COVID. There was a medical study that showed that the steroid called dexamethasone was very effective in reducing the number of patients that required oxygen supplementation to help them breathe and also it helped the patients who required assisted breathing in intensive care on ventilators to come off the ventilators faster. The study also showed that steroid reduced the length of stay in the hospital as well. However, as steroid suppresses the immune system, it may cause latent infection to flare like hepatitis B. It's very important to see if the patient requires high dose steroids and for how long. Or the dose of the steroid may be low dose for a slightly prolonged period may not cause any problem at all. However, we need to be aware that steroids, although it is a very good medication, it suppresses the immune system. Latent infection like hepatitis B may get reactivated and cause problems in the body like inflammation of the liver. The dose and the length of treatment of the steroid is very important. If it's a low dose, it may not cause a flare of the hepatitis B. Or if it's a very short term treatment, let's just say just a few days, then the hepatitis B flare risk is low. When a person is diagnosed with cancer, obviously it stirs up strong emotion in the patient and in the family members. Chemotherapy should be started as soon as possible because sometimes it's started before surgery, so they need the chemotherapy before the surgery, but also some people will need chemotherapy after surgery as well. It's very important that there's nothing to stop the starting of the chemotherapy and nothing to interrupt the course of the prescribed uh, chemotherapy. Now, chemotherapy is known to suppress the immune system and this may cause latent infection like hepatitis B to flare. We know that certain chemotherapy like rituximab, which is a monoclonal antibody to white cell, can have a very high rate of flare of latent infection like hepatitis B. The newer chemotherapy like the immune checkpoint inhibitors are also now suspected to cause problems with latent infection like hepatitis B. Immune checkpoint inhibitors are very good chemotherapy agents that are now being used for a wide range of cancers like breast cancer, lung cancer and colon cancer. Thus, it's important that before a person is started on any immune suppressing medication such as steroids and chemotherapy, the person is checked for latent infection like hepatitis B. This is to ensure that the chemotherapy can be started as soon as possible and that they can progress along smoothly with the prescribed course of chemotherapy. Obviously, any delay or any interruption in chemotherapy will cause anxiety in the patient and in the family members as well.